Hi, everybody. This is Andrew Fuge for the Rockland Arts Festival. I'm joined this morning by photographer Colette Fournier, who has uh, kindly submitted a piece for the uh, the festival. Um, Colette, if you would, would you talk us through what inspired you um, and anything else that you feel is relevant about this wonderful piece of artwork? Well, the piece of artwork, which is called Bollywood um, Dancer, was inspired when I was stuck in Florida for about a year and a half. You know, I think that'll inspire anybody. And it was during the time of COVID. <laughs> so really, any any day, any moment, I was looking for inspiration. But I happened to meet this young lady on one of my daily walks. And I um, this is in the Hollywood, Florida area. And um, she was carrying this really huge bush. And I kind of said to her, she's going to the garbage to recycle. And I said to her, I said, you know, you can actually replant those. And she says she has so much in her backyard. She was trying to get rid of some of them. <laughs> I said, OK. And then we started talking um, just, you know, very casually. And it, it turned out um, she was of East Indian heritage and um, she was an artist and she invited me into her home, which, you know, had a canal in the backyard, and we just started talking. And the first thing I saw when I got into her living room was a tripod. I said, oh, my gosh. I said, you're really an artist. So she was really a one-woman show. She she sewed her costumes, um, much of which the um, material she ordered from India. Um, she made her jewelry. She did her makeup. She did her dancing. She videotaped herself in, in different settings. And um, she was just a lot of fun to meet and a lot of fun to to work with. And unfortunately, I, I met her the last couple of weeks that I was in Florida. So we didn't get a chance to, you know, really do another shooting session after the first session. Oh, that's terrific. You know, when when you are um, about to, to take a photograph, do you have a set process that you follow or does it just vary depending on the circumstances? Well, you know, I'm kind of a collaborator, Andrew, and I like to collaborate with different artists. And, and because she was just so involved in what she was doing, it was so easy for us to just kind of discuss some ideas. And, you know, in her small, you know, little apartment, really, um, we did some pictures by the water. We did some pictures in the backyard by her trees, um, some on her little terrace. So, you know, I, I was looking for color. I was looking for texture. Um, she was such a major part of the project. She was so easy to work with. So I really like to collaborate. And, you know, if I run out of ideas, you know, say it to the person I'm photographing, you know, is there anything or else you engage them in conversation. So that's a big part of my pro process, engaging them in conversation to kind of get them in, into sort of a mood. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to ask you, as a, as a final question, Colette, I mean, I know you've been an active photographer a long time. You've got a huge body of work. You've, yeah. you've, you know, you've been involved in, with the, the civil rights movement. But do you have a favorite subject or a favorite photograph out of all these thousands or hundreds of thousands that you've taken? Oh, that's, that's so hard. Um, you know, not not really. I thought I did yesterday. I was entering a contest with my body of work from um, Queen Mother of Progress, which I photographed in Ghana. Um, and I said, oh, this is my favorite photograph. But but that's just being fickle. I know that that's not true because I could look through my body of work and, oh, that's my favorite photograph. So there's no way, you know, there's there's too much work. I can say like Hurricane Katrina, for which I was a um, OSI recipient fellow with uh, Kamoinge, uh, an African-American uh, collective I'm part of. So that was my favorite. That was one of my favorite shoots. That was one of my favorite um, times of photographing because I have family from Louisiana. So that gave me an opportunity to go for two weeks. We had gotten a uh, OSI grant to go and photograph the Gulf Coast. And this was actually post Hurricane Katrina. So I was able to do some research. I actually um, interviewed a few people that I was photographing. So that was really one of my lifetime favorite shoots because of the time and because mm -hmm. of the research. Yep. Yeah, so you know, when you work a full-time job, no matter what that is, you can't get that kind of time to really delve into a project. Um, but then I did the Black Motorcycle Project, um, History of Black Motorcycles, and Ripple of Thunder in the 80s. 
And that was probably coverage for maybe about two years. Again, I collaborated with the writer, Adolf Dupree, um, who's passed now. So I know that I really like collaborating. When I when I worked for newspapers, um, if the uh, interviewer, the reporter was willing, you know, we would collaborate and discuss ideas before we do the, you know, before I'd actually do the photography. That didn't happen all that often because everything was such, you know, deadline, you know, so often you were on a deadline. Um, so, yeah, so, so you know, I, I have to say it's a series because I really like working in a series. Mm -hmm. I like visiting a, a that thought process and going through it and then just sort of making it like a continuum, you know, going back to that process. So I really, again, you know, like working in a series. Um, I got to go to Jamaica um, and again in, in the 80s on a grant, late late 80s, on early 80s on a grant. And again, that was a, a whole big you know process where I stayed six weeks. So it was wonderful. <laughs> it was I actually I actually wanted to move there and work at a television station, but I found out the television station wasn't going to be built for another 10 years. So I had to go back home. <laughs> Uh, but I was willing, I was willing and able, you know, it's like, oh, this is so cool. Um, yeah, but it's, it's, it's been, it's just a wonderful process. I I love what I do. I really, really love photography and meeting photographers and, you know, going to conferences and seeing what other people are and just, you know, talking about the craft and, you know, how we each approach it and what excites us about photography. Colette, that was great. Thank you for sharing your insights with us. And we thank you for supporting the festival. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at the live event. Yes, you will. That's yes, really I'll be fun. there. <laughs> thank you, Andrew. Be